So, as you can see, this is a good portion of our trail. <laughs> right? Hey y'all. Hey. Welcome back. We're so here. we are at <laughs> the Lake Superior Trailhead. Yes, we are. I'm so, super excited about this. We have uh, just over five miles. We do. We figured so, it out. So if we come right in here. here. So this is where we are right here. Right. So it's just like three miles ish, I think, to Buckshot. And then we're making here to Lone Rock. So we're like right in this area today. So it should be just over five. Um, the trail is supposed to be really good until we get to like the 13, 14, which is where we're staying. I heard it's really muddy, rocky, yeah. but whatever. We'll assess it and see what it's like. I'm sure it's gonna be a great hike and everyone's leaving the trail with big smiles on their face. So let's do it. Yep. All right. I packed beer again. <laughs> yeah, My pack is heavy. Did. That's a we sacrifice. Did. We want to have a we're cold. Good. We're gonna have a cold Marquette beer. We are on we cold are. Lake Superior. Awesome. All right. So cheers, guys. We'll see you on the trail. See ya. So, just a little assessment. We are just about one mile into the hike, and majority of the trail has been nothing but mountain rocks. So we come to a little bridge. It's like. 0.95 miles approximately oh yeah this rock bed as you can see has been the entire trail so just a little uh, ravine we're going over Yep. as you can see got our little plastic bag picked up a bunch of birch bark from a down birch tree yeah. nice and dry so we will have definitely have fire starter and, my twigs. and Colleen packed some nice little dry twigs so we're good to start all right okay. see you back on the trail all right so we're at LS 18 park campsite we got a point five miles to Buckshot Cabin. Yep. Two and a half miles to Lone Rock. Which is where our campsites are located. And uh, yeah, quarter of a mile to Lake Superior Access. So, looking at the GPS, we're at two, what does that say? I can't read it behind. 2.18. 2.18 2. miles. Yep. So, 2.18, another half a mile. To the cabin. No camping for the next half a mile. This way. Follow that girl. Yeah. Okay. Follow that gal. All right. So we are at the cross, the Y in the T, Y in the road. Buckshack cabin, straight ahead that way. Who knows right. for how long? What a quarter of a mile it says. About a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And then that way. It's a trail. Lake Superior Trail. Keep her moving. That way. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. The wife has spotted something. Yeah. Oh. Chaga, chaga. Chaga, chaga, chaga. Yep. That's a nice little piece of chaga right there. We can't harvest it right now. It's no. way too early. Got to wait till late, mid to late winter. Good eye, but we uh, we saw an even bigger chunk. That was crazy. A huge chunk. I'm saying it was probably big as my backpack. It was big. That I big, actually thought it was a squirrel hole. That big. And it was probably well, 50 feet or better up in the air. Well, 25 feet. Way too high. Anyways, fun fact. Chaga's good for you. So, as you can see... This is a good portion of our trail. <laughs> right? Get the slog in there, woman. Got it. Let's do it. Holy moly. 
Yeah, it's not all like this, but right now it's been probably a quarter of a mile. Of this. At least. Yeah, okay. GoPro right. down. GoPro down. This is full, <laughs> you need full stability here. Okay. Okay, we are found out. Ooh, that's a long hike. We are at our campsites. And yeah. what do we got, honey? What's we it? are at 4.66 miles 4.66 miles from the lake superior trailhead off of uh main road there going back through here to this mud and rocks slot as we're calling it slogs and rocks so there's 14 over here oh yeah 13 looks way better and this is 14 or 13 excuse this, me this is our camp for tonight this is going to be our campsite for tonight uh, we got to find a try to find a flat spot somewhat flat spot that's not going to be if it does rain tonight that we won't get that's a potential pad there we'll just be sleeping right side up or uh, not right side up we'll be on an angle but it's better than nothing so the campsites are actually sheltered so the, the lake. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a picture. So, <laughs> through the campsite, we come out here. And lo and behold, there is a bald eagle sitting on top of Lone Rock. Here we are. The sun went away. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. Pretty windy out here, but that's uh, pretty incredible having a bald eagle sitting on top. Can wait for it, honey. Yep. You may have a nest over there, who knows? All right. Well, we'll be might be taking the plunge in here later maybe. to wash off the uh, uh, the trail, or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Ooh. All right. Let's get camp set up for the night. Okay. Camp for the night, hon. Lake Superior. All right. A couple cold beers. Couple, here we go. Give me up a little higher. Got a couple cold beers that we brought in. This is crazy. And uh, tying off our other two. <laughs> What are you gonna tie it on, honey? A rock? How about right here? Actually, I'll probably tie to the tree. Yeah, we do. All right. Let's go sit on that rock out there, honey. Oh, do or, you want, or do you want to sit right here? Kind of we can sit right here. Fill up a log, honey. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah. There you go, darling. Thank you. One for me. Cheers. Cheers. So. Oh. Cheers. Okay. We'll cheers get again. That. <laughs> so just one piece of small advice so um, we'll just real quick recap is 4.6 yeah 4.6 miles and took us three hours and but that would be the so the trek in was pretty it's moderate to difficult yeah 100% it is because you're walking over this kind of rock 
a lot of the time, a lot of the uh, escarpment schlag at the top of it the was uh, super mountain. Muddy too. And then getting down the lower levels, it was sloggy. So we're gonna make a porcupine drink called Slog on the Rock. Slog on the Rock. We have to figure that out. Yeah, I don't so know what gonna, it is yet, it has, but it's gonna it be to some element. Something to, it. to element of Lake Superior porcupines, yeah. Michigan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm dirty. Stay, stay tuned for that. What's well, about damn time you got dirty? I know. I was, I was like honestly sliding down rocks. I was up and over, like falling down logs and trees. Um, but it was fun. And I can't tell you, this has been an epic trip so far. But uh, one quick little tip: if you tie your beer up in the oh, Lake oh, Superior, oh, oh. make sure you keep it secure and keep a close eye on it. You never know when you're going to catch a youper. That's bait right there. <laughs> Might come out of the water and be like. Whew. Right. And Mick John said it's 4:30. So far, we don't have neighbors, but mm, whatever. You never know. Yeah, clouds have definitely rolled in. They have. The There's wave, something going on over there. The waves have picked up. Yeah, Canada's over there, honey. I know. Way over Hide there. Hide the homeland. Hide the homeland. Get the tent set up real quick. Yep. We got a delicious, dehydrated, chili. Homemade. Homemade chili, yep. cauliflower chili. Yep. Uh, for dinner tonight. Yeah. The waters are so beautiful. It's cold. I forgot to bring my thermometer. Actually, I got a human thermometer. Not a chance. Cheers from the UPA. So I just did a um, uh, weather research on my uh, Garmin inReach. We've got a 60% chance of rain from our location tonight. Uh, don't know when it's going to hit. And then tomorrow and Sunday, 70% chance of rain. So looks like we might be a little on the wet side. Anyways, got to get the fly on. Colleen's got uh, our lovely dehydrated chili soaking right now getting ready for uh, dinner got our batteries charging up from uh, last night How's dinner coming, darling? It's up, my love. All right. Wind's picking up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Turn your Uber light on. Okay, you can't see. Oh, got your light on? All right, Colleen is looking for Uperites, or Uper lights. So we have a UV light out here. You probably can't see. But anyways, these uh, rocks will glow under UV or black light. Wow, this is like a serious storm out here. The waves are insane. What? This one, oh, it's paper. It's just paper. Oh, you got something reflective. I got it plated. Anything? Nothing, yeah. Okay. Alright, well, let's head in. Okay, if you can hear it, we're inside our tent. <laughs> and that is like some gale force winds coming off Lake Superior from the north, heading yeah. in a southwest direction.
We're dry. I think we're safe. You think we're safe? We are safe. <laughs> Getting our headlamp set up. There you go, honey. We're hunkered down. Holy moly. Yeah, we're in here. We're safe. As much as we think we are. <laughs> but yeah, that wind is like insane. We just got done having dinner. I got the bear hang up real quick. Didn't do our dishes. So there, we just stuffed them in the stuff sack. But got that up real quick just before this all just came pouring down. We're up to over two foot rollers right now. Um, maybe even higher the way the wind has picked up. And as you can hear, the rain has picked up even more. So anyways, we're good, we're safe. We'll catch you later. Um, don't know if we'll record anymore, but if we don't, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Assessing her terrain and a successful water crossing by our professional trekker. <laughs>